So Better Call Saul, uh, episode one, season two, and I believe it's called uh, Miho or, or Mijo. Uh, forgive me if I'm butchering the name of it. Um, I'm, not, I'm not very good with, with uh, uh, names or titles sometimes. Um, but this episode uh, introduced a couple of new characters um, and introduced an old one. Um, for, forgive me, I'm not sure if it was this one or the last one, um, but it, it had Mike from Breaking Bad in it um, as he's trying to give the stickers, uh, and that was a continuing theme. Um, having watched both of them, uh, it, 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 they're, they're kind of blurred together, um, but the sticker joke where Saul's driving through, and he, he, he's kind of like... A, uh, says he's like a sticker troll because he won't let him pass without getting the, the stickers and everything. Um, you know, he, he has just, uh, you know, he doesn't have quite enough stickers and whatnot. So it's kind of a, a funny gag for it to see Mike, you know, knowing that Mike's such a hardcore guy, um, but he's, he's kind of just like a gatekeeper there. You know, it's kind of a funny thing there. But um, so this, this episode has Tuco um, going up against the sk skater guys. And again, knowing what we know about, you know, Tuco and the craziness of it, it was kind of, it was kind of cool to see him kind of unleash on the skater kids where, you know, he grabs the, um, walking stick and, um, kind of, kind of beats the shit out of the guys, you know, very quickly makes, makes some work of them. Um, to see Saul in the desert, um, kind of going up against Tuco, uh, you know, and I, I don't think they ever met in Breaking Bad. I think I think Saul was introduced to the next season uh, after Tuco, if I'm not mistaken. Um, I don't I don't think he ever met Tuco. I I'm not sure. But to me, this was very interesting because because seeing both of them, um, especially a, a pre-Saul uh, uh, Saul, uh, you know, as Jimmy, <laughs> um, seeing Jimmy go up against Tuco it was very interesting because he's not, you know, he's. You see glimpses of, of what will eventually be Saul, but he's not he's not Saul yet. Um, you know, it was very good to see him kind of quick on his feet, and that kind of gave him, um, you know, as opposed to killing the the skater kids, you know, he he uh, you know only got his you know he 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 got them their legs broken as opposed to them dying, <laughs> you know. So it to me that that that's something very Saul like, you know, he's he's able to to work around, you know, hey, don't give them the death penalty, just give them a fair judgment, you know. Um, to me, I don't think many people could have pulled that off, especially going against Tuco and knowing what we know of Tuco and, and is the loose cannon uh, that, that Tuco is. Um, so to me, I was I was very impressed with that. And, and you know, it's, it's kind of jacked up because, you know, uh, the skater kids, I'm sure, were probably like, man, fuck this dude, you know. Um, but <laughs> you're lucky you got out alive, guys. Um, so it was it was really good to see both those two characters kind of go up against each other, um, even though um, you know the one isn't quite who he's destined to be yet. You know um, that was very interesting, and then to kind of see uh, Jimmy kind of go up and kind of take all these uh, new cases, which is something he didn't really want to do in the the last one. In the other in, in the last episode, he he kind of wanted that big project, um, you know that that big win whereas now he's, he's like man all right fuck it i'm just gonna go after all these little ones and 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 do the right thing something that uh i think chuck i'm, I'm terrible with names i think i think the guy's name is chuck um you know his friend that has the the i think cancer is what he has um something he had said you know this is this is what you do you build a reputation um you know and the clients will come you know that's kind of what i feel like he's doing in this episode um doing it the right way uh, so it's 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 good to see those you know glimpses here um, but I tell you, the, the character that stood out to me was the cousin. Um, you know, he kind of saves the day in the desert, um, comes back around at the end. And I, I do like how he, he, uh, makes him the offer of, you know, we, we need to go do this, you know, cause I know how to get things done. You know, people won't die. Um, I do think that's, I think that mentality is kind of, um, instrumental for who Saul, you know, who Jimmy eventually becomes, um, for the Saul character, because that's very much a Jimmy mentality, or that's very much a Saul mentality to have. Um, so I, I like that, and I, I do look forward to seeing where the cousin, you know, where that character um, goes, because to me, I felt like that character really stood out a lot, and I, and I like that character. 
Um, you know, he knows the hardcore ways, yet he's, you know, very, uh, very focused, very business-like minded. Um, so it's kind of the best of both worlds, and, and I like that a lot. So, um, but anyhow, um, so that was my take on it. Um, I, I really enjoyed this episode. I look forward to seeing um, where it goes. It's for me, having only watched two episodes, this this felt very full. It felt like I watched like half the season already because it's a lot going on. Very much like Breaking Bad, where you're like, man, we started here, and like 50, 50 years later, we're only like an hour later. <laughs> you know, it's like it feels like a lot. You know, lot lot happened. So it's very full, and I like the writing. So um, especially given the fact that. I didn't really want to pick this series back up, but I'm very glad that I did. So, um, yeah. Anyway. All right, guys. So, um, be genuine, be safe and, uh, keep on geeking on.